Thanks, Mateo. Uh, members of the Young Women's Desk held a nude protest at Stellenbosch University today. We'll find out why when Newsnight continues. What would you like to pay for your room tonight? 2,050, 1,020 or 800 rand. It's the same room with the same service, just different prices. It's really up to you. Well, nobody ever asks you this at the hotel reception, do they? But this is exactly what Trivago does for you. Trivago gives you a variety of options by showing you prices from more than 200 different websites and apps. Trivago just compares. The choice is up to you. Hotel Trivago. We live in an incredible country. Beautiful, intense, challenging. Every day I meet extraordinary South Africans who have a story to tell. Not all will make headlines, but they all matter. On E! News, we try to choose the stories that get us talking, that challenge us. Because that is how we are moved to make a difference. That is how we grow. Those stories make up the fabric of who we are as a nation, as a world, and shape where we are going. On E! News, we tell the South African story. Join the story. The ANC Women's League's Young Women's Desk has also honored Rhodes University Law student Kensani Maseko. Earlier today, members of the Young Women's Desk held a nude protest at Stellenbosch University. Maseko took her own life last week. She had accused her boyfriend of raping her in May. Fezi Wendwayana is from the ANC Women's League's Young Women's Desk, and uh, she joins us now. Good evening, Fezi. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time this evening. Why a nude protest? Uh, Vuyo, thank you for having me. The reason we chose to have a nude protest was precisely because it's a very strong form of protest, but also we wanted to send a message that as young women, uh, and also to encourage young women generally that we are reclaiming our bodies and we are taking power back. And we're saying that whether we're wearing tight dresses, whether we have big features, big bums, big boobs, no one has the right over our bodies. But also it was to create a space where we want to encourage young women to speak out and say that I've been a victim, but I will no longer be silenced. But also to create a society where young women are safe and they can speak. Because the reason why we find that there are many cases besides Ukensani where young women actually take their lives or they die because of rape or gender-based violence in general is because there isn't space to speak. Uh, young women are scared. And, and that's what we seek to achieve. Reclaiming our bodies and saying that whether we're wearing tight skirts, short dresses, tight clothes, it does not matter. Now, uh, did, you, did you get a sense uh, that uh, you were able to then pass the message you wanted to pass? Well, uh, Comrade uh, Vuyo, uh, the process of struggle is, is one that is long. What we hoped to achieve through this protest was to conscientize young people, especially in institutions of higher learning. As you know, we've had protests on the 1st of August, and those protests were in specific or strategic institutions in our country. But with these specific ones in institutions of higher learning, we wanted to entrench or increase um, consciousness in institutions of higher learning because we are, the problem that we have in institutions of higher learning is that at the beginning of the year especially young women do not have um, accommodation they have problems with registration and what that then means is that they are very vulnerable and those are the times when a lot of them become victims of rape and so we saw fit that after you know the sad 
passing of Kensani that we should target institutions of higher learning. Because Vuyo, when you are fighting, you know, against gender-based violence, it's, it's a fight that has to be fought in various sections of society. And so institutions of higher learning are one of the key sections because that's where a lot of young women exist. Well, the process of struggle is indeed uh, long, as you say, but uh, some people would argue that it's being made extra long by some of your own comrades in the ANC Women's League, for example, who succumb to patriarchy uh, only to, or simply because they are eyeing uh, political positions, whether it's in the executive or state-owned enterprises or some other government entity. Uh, Vuyo, what you are saying to me is very problematic. It's problematic because it seems as if there's an agenda to push the Women's League to respond to issues the way that certain people would want to. The Women's League is very active. You find the Women's League in rural areas where they assist uh, women. You find the Women's League in courtrooms where they go and support families of rape victims and rape victims themselves. So the Women's League is active, but the Women's League is a generation on its own. Now, you they have their waves of understanding of how to address and how to fight patriarchy. But as we as the Young Women's Desk are engaging in the struggle. Of course, we have their support, but we have our own understanding on how we can fight gender-based violence and the oppression of women in general. Because Vuyo, it's a long struggle. Our struggles today as young, as young women are actually informed by structural implications that go back into apartheid regime that actually oppressed um, black South Africans and women have been the ones to bear the brunt the most as those that suffer from triple oppression. So as we are engaging in this, the Women's League isn't against it, but we have our own way as young people of how to address and how to fight gender-based violence. It's not true that they've succumbed. There are many processes that they followed within the Women's League where they, where, where they confronted patriarchy. But as well, it's also unfair to say that you want to divorce the Women's League for what is happening in society as well. The issues that we find in our communities, of course, we will find them in various movements in our country. But our role as young women is to make sure that even in our spaces, in our political party, that we fight so that the space itself becomes safer. But of course, as I said, we have identified different forms of engaging and for fighting for against gender oppression. Well, in situations like these, it is, of course, also uh, difficult uh, to not look at uh, state organs entrusted with looking after women, children, and other vulnerable groups in society. Um, um, in your own assessment, are they doing a good job, a particularly good job um, at the moment? We're talking about a ministry responsible for women and the children. We're talking about the gender commission and, and, and such entities. Well, Comrade Vuyo, uh, Vuyo, pardon me, we are in engagement with the Ministry of Women and uh, the Ministry of Women has made a concerted effort to actually focus on these issues. Um, I mean, even coming up to, 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 to saying that the Women's League will also, I mean, sorry, the, the Women's Ministry will also form part of, of, of our marches and will also march, you know, to various to various institutions with it was because the women's ministry was part of it. And even with the death of Kensani, the Ministry of Women, by 
by the leader of it, uh, Comrade Matabile Lamini, came out and said that they are standing with the family. And even when we, uh, we, were, we had our march on the 1st, the women's ministry actually came out and said that we must have a moment of silence as women in general in the country. So there are steps that the women's ministry is taking, but however, it requires of us to continue engagements with them. We are planning summits at the end of the march to, to engage with the president of the country to engage with the Women's League, to engage with the Ministry of Women as well. So over time, we will start to see, because of this intensified um, fight by young women, we will start to see more changes in that we want to see a transformed justice system. We want to see various strategic institutions also, you know, putting in place policies that will keep women safe and will take and, and will disable uh, gender-based violence. So we are in engagements and there will be changes. By, by the end of September, there will definitely be a report uh, back on that. Fez Wendwayana, thank you very much uh, for your time this evening. She is, of course, from the ANC Women's League's uh, we Young uh, Women's Desk. Uh, they are increasingly taking campaigns. A couple of weeks ago, they were naming and shaming men within uh, the ANC um, uh, who uh, were not doing the right things when it comes to women's issues. And uh, today, they had uh, that uh, nude protest at the Stellenbosch University.